The corrosion challenges in Qatar are very unique because of the environmental conditions. We have high temperature most of the year, high humidity in parts of the year. Also, uh, if you look at the seawater, it has high salinity. The soil in Qatar is very corrosive. Any interaction between the environmental condition and the material results in high corrosion. CRC is a young research center uh, which has been evolved a lot since its establishment and it's uh, one of its kind in, in the region. This makes uh, us uh, the main player to solve these challenges uh, related to the, to the industry and, and the environment here. The idea of creating the Corrosion Center was mainly for us to be a link between research and academia and the industry. So all the projects that are conducted at the Corrosion Center are industry demand-driven projects. So the center has uh, five research programs. The first one is uh, Material for Hydrogen, where we are studying uh, the performance of uh, material that is commonly used by the industry in hydrogen environment. The main objective of this project is we're focusing on 3D printed nickel-based alloy and to investigate the hydrogen environment of this and by optimizing 3D parameter and the strategy and the composition to developing the next generation hydrogen resistant alloys. Hydrogen has the ability to absorb into the metal and uh, ingress into the microstructural features of the materials, which can lead to crack propagation that can result in failure of the equipment and the infrastructure. These issues can lead to fatalities or injuries in the workplace. The second program uh, looks into uh, chloride stress corrosion cracking, and we are trying to develop science maps for stainless steels and see their performance in chloride stress corrosion cracking environment. The mechanical stresses or the corrosive environment, when combined together, they have a synergistic effect that can lead to the sudden failure of a component. So we investigate how does the uh, mechanical stresses and the corrosive environment and material properties affect the, the cracking of the material. The equipments that we have available in the lab allow us to test these alloys in a wide range of different uh, environment conditions such as high temperature and pressure and different kinds of corrosive environments. The third program focuses on corrosion inhibitor, uh, where we are studying uh, the effect of the salinity of produced water in Qatar on corrosion inhibitor performance. Uh, we are looking also at uh, the uh, methodology of determining the performance of corrosion inhibitor. We are looking into corrosion inhibitor optimization to avoid leaks on the pipelines and a more reliable way to diminish the corrosion rate. We work with understanding the physical chemistry and how how salinity especially impacts on the corrosion inhibitor efficiency. So we work close to the local industry to make sure that what they are adding to their pipeline is efficient and won't cause any kind of accident or leak to the environment. The fourth program is looking into coating degradation. And in this program, we do both atmospheric testing uh, as well as uh, accelerated laboratory testing. Here in the Kiri facility, we have uh, accelerated lab tests, and uh, this is essentially uh, cyclic aging of samples. Uh, we can then look at uh, various post-test analysis, so we have uh, a lot of advanced equipment, so your standard SEMs, um, XRD, XRF uh, for chemical composition. We also have a, a lot of tests such as the pull-off adhesion test, uh, peel test. And the second uh, important pathway we look at is um, outdoor testing in the Qatar environment. Uh, so we do exposure testing on a number of different racks and we retrieve these and then do uh, post-test analysis on that. And uh, it's a relatively old technology, but we've uh, attempted to uh, update it by integrating uh, a camera and the internet of things, as well as cloud computing to, uh, I guess, bring it to the modern age. 
The last program is uh, pipeline integrity management. In this program, we're looking into multi-phase uh, flow regimes and checking the uh, effect of the operating parameters, inhibitor, any chemicals that you're putting in your stream on the performance of the material and the material integrity. Pipelines are like blood vessels for oil and gas industry and corrosion is the biggest threat for their integrity. It is very vital to understand the effect of the hydrogen on this pipeline material. And this is exactly where the outcome of all our other programs come together and become impactful solutions for real life problems of, of industry. I'd like to see more engagement of students because the young generation is the future here. And so what we do here, we do a lot of internship programs and we try to teach them how to solve problems and gain hands-on experience. This is why you see most of our project leaders at the center are young uh, engineers and scientists and the approach is that to give them a chance. Coming to the Corrosion Center has helped me in my studies because I was able to get hands-on experience in the labs. I was trained on multiple instruments and I was able to learn from a young team of people. And I was also able to use my programming skills for data analysis. Qatar gives special emphasis on research. It's part of their vision 2030 to become knowledge-based economy. So here at Kiri, it's a great place to be exposed to what research is and understanding what the current uh, projects are. And so getting exposure to this and getting to know people who are leading the change and playing a pivotal role in the economy, I think this would have a great impact on me uh, in coming years. At CRC, we have experts and scientists from 10 different nationalities across five continents. And by embracing this diversity, we are learning from each other. And that's exactly what's empowering us at CRC.